do you do? I'm Timmy, the sign man. My sign. <laughs> I'm Freddy, the junk man. My fist. <laughs> Go away! Okay, but it's gonna cost you money. Cost me money? <laughs> you see, this week I'm having a sale. <laughs> All my signs are inexpensive. Even if they were free, I couldn't afford one. Ah, uh, I know. Things are slow all over. You can say that again. Don't have to. <laughs> Shall I stick it in the ground? You're close. <laughs> Sir, I can see you're a desperate man. I think I can help you. How can you help me? I mean, have you ever heard of the lucky number contest? You mean, that's where a proprietor uh, gives away stuff free? That's right. Those gimmicks never work. A friend of mine had a gas station, and he used to give away silverware, dishes, and glasses. And? And he went broke. That's just it. He didn't make the gimmick attractive enough. What do you call attractive? Let's say $200. Let's say goodbye. <laughs> Wait a minute, you don't understand. No, you don't understand. You see, goodbye means that someone is leaving the house. And since this is my house, you understand? But $200 will draw the customers like flies. When I want flies, I leave out some sour ham hocks. <laughs> But it won't cost you $200. All it will cost you is a small printing fee. What? Listen, sit down, please. Small. You see, I make up a sign for you and put your name on it. In the middle, there's a flap with the lucky number under it. Then I print up the lucky number tickets for your customers. With every purchase, you give away your ticket. Then in a month, you remove the flap and there's the lucky number. And there's where I kill myself because I don't have the money to pay the winner. But you don't need the money to pay the winner because there isn't going to be a winner. You mean when I take the flap off and show the lucky number, nobody's going to have it? That's right. You mean the flap off is a rip off. <laughs> and the beauty of it is that no one is going to know. How do you figure that? Because no one ever knows who wins these contests. Everybody checks for their own number. Whoever bothers to find out who won? The police. <laughs> and if they, if they find out, they're going to give me an unlucky number across my chest. <laughs> See, what you're talking about is illegal. Maybe theoretically, but not morally. That's very good. Yeah. So you see, no one is getting cheated. Meanwhile, you've made them happy. You've given them something to look forward to, something to dream about. You've made hundreds happy, and only one of them could have won anyway. You know, you're right. I'd be a good Samaritan. Uh, I'd be doing those poor fools a favor, putting a little hope in their lives. How much is this hope gonna cost me? I can give you the whole thing for $25 and have it here in the morning. It's a deal. Good. <laughs> hey, Timmy, huh? now look, since it's really not gonna cost me any money, let's make the prize $500. $500? Yeah, I, I don't want my friends and neighbors to think I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> you got it. I'll have it in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he bought it. He went for the lucky number Kong. Oh, hey, that's great. <laughs> Greater than you think. This joker upped the prize money himself. $500. Oh, $500. That's fantastic. Yeah. Now we wind up with uh, $25 for the printing, uh -huh. plus the $500 you're going to win with this the winning, winning ticket. ticket. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.